In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a little route combination that you can use out of the gun bunch wide formation in this year's game to torch the cover three uh, meta coverages that you might be facing. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name's Cody and I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day here on YouTube. Now, we typically post four videos a day, one at two o'clock, one at four o'clock, one at six o'clock and one at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're looking to improve and get better in Madden, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And we also have a community discord that you can join in the link in the, in the link for it is in the description of this video. All right, guys, I've got the gun bunch wide up here. Now, this gun bunch wide, I actually really like this. This comes out of the San Francisco 49ers playbook. Um, it can be ran out of other playbooks as well. But what we're going to primarily be showing you here, and just for the sake of the video, we're going to take Shaq Barrett off the field because the practice mode shows are unreal. But we're going to show you a cover three beater from this. So gun bunch wide, and the play we're going to be using is clear out FLM. I think this might be one of the best zone beating plays in an entire game because of what you can do with the different strengths that this play allows you to have. Now, really quickly, what you're going to want to make sure that you have on your receiver, if you don't have a hot route master quarterback, you just want to make sure that you have your right of screen bunch receiver. Make sure he has outside apprentice, okay? Outside wide receiver apprentice. It's going to give you a couple of different routes that you can put him on. So what you'll see right here is I'm going to take uh, Chris Godwin on this play, and I'm going to put him on a corner route, which is actually a C route, as you can see right here. And then I'm going to smart route his route. Okay, so it's going to go a little bit shorter, and it's going to angle out to the sideline. From there, all I'm going to do is motion him out and snap when he sets. And what you'll notice is that deep third for a split second is going to run with that C route, and it's going to allow Scotty Miller to get over the top of the defense. Now, most people are going to be playing. Um, most people are going to be playing some type of um, zone drop coverage, especially against a formation like this. So most of the time, they're not even going to press Scotty Miller. You're noticing that this alignment properly, you know, they're allowed to press him. But if they don't press him, you can see he's going to beat him by at least five yards over the top. Very easy read. Now, what I like about this play is that the streak in the middle of the field to Gronkowski is going to do a really, really good job of running off the middle, uh, the deep middle zone. So even if they're flipped, even if their safety is on the right side of the field, Gronk is going to kind of basically walk him away, as you can see right here, and this route is still going to be wide open over the top, as you can see. And it's kind of almost instantly open. I mean, you can kind of tell whether or not this is going to be open, like in a flash, like literally in an instant, you're going to know, okay, the corner, if that corner goes wide, most of the time that's going to be wide open over the top. Now, again, if he gets pressed, which is very unlikely because of the way people are going to play their defense, that's the only thing that can give this a little bit of an issue, but most of the time it's really no issue at all, okay? So, but if they don't press him, and you'll notice you could actually even, like you could put, you could do whatever you wanted on the right as long as he doesn't get pressed. So you don't even necessarily have to have the C route. Um, the, the C route is more for those times like when he might get pressed or something like that might happen. Now, what they're going to do uh, to combat this is they're going to deep half their outside corners. So what you're going to do on this, if you'll notice here, when I motion Godwin out, watch this right here. You'll notice that he's going to run clean with Scotty Miller right over the top, just like that right there. Okay, so they've kind of got that route, right, with a deep half. But here's the cool part about this play. It is um, is that Chris Godwin is on a really, very, like, almost deep angled C route. And basically they're going to completely forget that he ever existed on this outside. And you can pass lead that up once he hits the sideline. As you can see right there, once he kind of approaches the sideline, you can pass lead him up. Obviously you don't have to smart route him either. So if you, you know, maybe want him to go a little bit deeper then you can just leave him on this corner route and um, we'll show you what that looks like as well here. So just motion him out and you'll see this is a very deep C route, but pass lead that up right in that little pocket right there and you'll see that that's going to come wide open for your offense. So you have answers to what the defense is going to do. 
Now let's say they bluff you, and maybe they're in cover, um, maybe they're in, in coverage defense, right? From a from a cover one perspective, this route on the left side is a little bit of a double move route. And what you'll notice is with that C route to Godwin, that's going to help him beat man-to-man -man coverage. But Mike Evans, if they shade coverage over top, they are, um, you know, they, it's kind of 50-50. Sometimes he beats him, sometimes he doesn't. But if they don't, if they just press him, you'll notice, like, if they just run straight two men under press on him, you'll see here that he should roast this pretty much every time right over the top. It's just a lob ball. Click on and uh, you're going to be able to go get that ball, okay? So you have that route as well. And then the other thing that you have within this play, you can obviously smart route Mike Evans too. And when you smart route him, he's going to go a little bit, um, he's just going to do his move a little quicker. So it's going to be a quick, and you see, see how much more he roasts him. And when they're impressed, man, you can really, really torch them uh, from this formation. Now, the reason I like bunch wide is it also allows you a lot of different opportunities for um, different passing concepts. For example, this read middle play, you notice that this looks very familiar to the double post play. And it's because it is. This route to um, Godwin, even though it's deeper, you see, you see that it kind of goes a little bit deeper. It's going to do very similar things for you if they're in man-to-man -man coverage. Um, and so you can, you can definitely leverage this read middle route Obviously, you have that nice little slant in almost from this, but you see how if you low ball pass lead that to the inside, uh, Godwin is going to get open uh, against that against that coverage. The other thing you have from this is you have the play drive corner, uh, which is a really nice little route combination as well. And the cool part about this formation is you could put your you could literally put this outside guy on a smoke screen. And the reason that's significant is because he's going to draw people really, really fast. And I think this actually does better for beating the cover three um, than just a standard bunch because of the spacing on the field that this allows you to provide. Another thing that you could do from this, and there's just so many things you could do from this formation, but even another thing that you could do is running the gun bunch verticals. Instead of motioning Godwin, you can leave him kind of out there because he's kind of outside already. And just snap it, and you'll be surprised at how well this does, especially against that deep half kind of coverage style that people are going to go to. What you'll notice when you run the play verticals is that deep half is going to completely ignore Chris Godwin's route up the seam. So you can hit that very, very consistently right up the seam against them. So a lot of options from this, this formation. I would highly encourage you to try this formation out. Um, I'm not saying that it's better than Gun Bunch by any means. What I am saying is I think it's worth a look. Uh, I think that what it can do is actually really interesting. I think there's a lot of potential, um, especially with this being a spread out, uh, you know, a, a year that kind of, you don't have to have max protect on every play in this year's Madden. And the other thing that I like about this is, let's say, you know, and I ran Bunch Wide, I think this was maybe three years ago, but... Um, this just does a really good job against a lot of different things because of the and this is one this is one reason why verticals is so good because of the width of the formation you're going to notice that the curl flat defender will go with the tight end instead of chris godwin normally he's supposed to go with chris godwin you'll see right there he goes to the tight end and you're able to hit that route to verticals right up the seam so you have different routes that really work well off of this route and let's just be honest z spot is, this is a, a Z spot Madden. Uh, Z spot beats man, it beats zone. As long as you have a good uh, route running guy, and you notice here that it's going to come under that cover three very easily. So this route is very powerful as well. And you have um, a, a, a I, don't know, I think it's like flink or drive is the play. You can get a post route um, to Mike Evans in that route as well. So you have just different um, options that you can really do. And you notice here you get that nice dive catch animation on that route as well so just a lot of things that i think you know really uh, are valuable in this formation a lot of things that you can do from it a lot of things that you know like for example if they're running cover three you could run a smart route a comeback route to mike evans here and um you'll notice unfortunately he didn't he didn't get him right there but um but you could like if let's say you run in let's say that, that, that you're running read middle and you take Evans and put him on a smart route and out route, right? Um, you'll see here that you can hit the 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 slot 
right up the seam against the cover three. So a lot of different things you can do from this. But anyways, guys, I just encourage you to check out the bunch why. This one's out of the 49ers playbook, but there's obviously several other playbooks that you can find this in. Um, just head over to huddle.gg and you can check out their playbook database to find all of the for me all of the books that have this but in my opinion this gun bunch is actually very usable this year and very effective and it comes with one of the best cover three beaters uh in the game pretty much you don't even have to do anything honestly like because of the formation because of the spacing of the formation and that's what i like so much like let's just say i took i guess it's a little bit aggressive here but let's just say that i took godwin and i just put him on a um Let's just say I put him on a, a slant route, okay? A slant route. Watch the outside corner. See how he takes that one false step to the right, and you're able to bomb him instantly over the top. Because of the spread and the spacing of the formation, you don't have to wait for him to clear. He's already going to clear. So you can put Godwin. Obviously, it's going to work the best if you have him on uh, some type of uh, route. But another idea that you could do is you could fade him. Um, you'll notice here against deep half, uh, oftentimes you'll see here and we got to get him to go just a little bit slower so you might you you, you got to get him to kind of snap in motion but what you could do from a from a, um, a a deep half perspective is if they're deep halfing on that side just take him and it's probably you know best just put him on a comeback route let him go deep here but get him that motion snap and right there you see how you see how that deep half is kind of in between the two of them well, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to, and let me get this guy in a deep half, you're going to have a, a, a small window right there that you can hit Godwin on a snap throw. So if the quarterback doesn't jump to Chris Godwin, you can hit him on a snap throw very easily within this offense. So a lot of different things you can do from this. I think this is probably one of the best cover three beaters in the entire game. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it to beat cover three, to beat some of that. Even interestingly enough, let's say that they are in like a match coverage or they're in something like that. You'll notice that this, like if he gets, you see here, Mike Evans is going to get pressed. Um, doesn't get over the top of that cover three, unfortunately. But if he gets, if that's man coverage, he's going to beat it. So anyways, guys, that's the Gun Bunch Wide. If you want to get more of my exclusive tips, I'd highly encourage you to join our text message membership. Completely free to do that. All you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to receive those text message videos, and I can shoot them your way. We have an entire gun bunch guide out in that text message membership. We've broken down um, the big nickel over G two different times in there with a pasty and a run D. Um, and most of these breakdowns are between 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. So they're kind of like mini guides, if you will, um, of these different formations. We go really in depth and we kind of try to show you one little version of what you would get if you got our full ebook, which if you want to get my full offense and my full defensive ebook that has over 125 pages of material, you can pick that up by clicking the link in the description below. All right, guys, we'll see you on our next video here in a couple of hours. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video.